Okay, well, I'm assuming that I'm correct in this. And we want to proceed with it. So the Phoenicians, who are the Phoenicians? The dudes that set up this banking system from, from Phoenicia Maritima, which is Phoenician Maritime Admiralty Law, the law of banking, the law that took away your right as a human being and turned you into a person, which is a fictitious legal identity. Well, if you read about them, they were known as the purple people. And of course, they give you some bullshit excuse that they knew how to use some dye and nobody knew it. No, they knew how to use dye, all right. They went around killing motherfuckers. That's the dye they used. The other kind of dye they used was a tool and dye to create a, uh, to create a, a system that would serve them. You see, these cocksuckers were supposed to help us out. If you go read the fallen angels, if you want to call them, because that's what they are, were supposed to help us out. It was the fact that they thought that we were stupider than them, and they threw a fit and turned on us and enslaved us. And that's what all this really is about. So let's take a look here. Okay? This is supposed to be Phoenician whatever, uh, from DNA or whatever. So I blew it up down here. Most Y chromosome have the T at a particular position along the chromosome known as the <clears throat> M172. But some have the G. Well, that's pretty Masonic at this position. Lineage spread across the Phoenicians are enriched for the G. The Phoenicians invented the alphabet. The Bible tells us that the stars taught the fallen stars, the fallen angels, in the book of Enoch, taught man how to read and write. Here it's telling you that the Phoenicians taught men how to read and write. The jinn, which are the equivalent of the Arab, Arab, Arab or Muslim demon, are the purple people that the Jews talk about in the Bible. So it's all the same group. So the fallen angels are the ones that taught man how to read and write and enslaved us because they're telling you right here. The Phoenicians invented the alphabet and if it had written down their genetic variant, this is how it would have looked. T to G, and then here's the seal of Saturn, and then there's this little mark. Remember this mark? Remember that? Remember the Sandy Hook chalkboard had that mark? And the postcard, remember, with the plane flying in the building? And where else did we find that? We found that at the top of the arch in the Masonic Hall, right? So we know that all of this has to do with the fallen angels, and I told you that that's who the Jews are in league with. They all are, basically. Okay, they turned it around. They were supposed to help us. This was before they fell. After they fell, they enslaved us. This is the story. This is what happened. Now, here, here's a, supposedly a Phoenician sailing boat which set up the banking system through the sea. That's why it's maritime admiralty law. The law of the sea is the law of banking. Notice we have the cube or the square. And what do we have here? The lion's head which is Marduk, and it's also Jacob in the Hebrew. Okay? And here's the square. There's your Masonic square, right? All right? And then I could never figure this out. I knew what was going on because here's your Saturn thing, and here's your Yahweh thing. But what was with the T? Well, the, the T down here, this T, hold this off. This T right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's the same T right there. That's why it's Yahweh, T. And here it is over here, G. I mean, all of this is just screams of Saturn alien and bullshit. Okay? So all of this is all coming together. Okay? This is, I mean, everybody knows that the fallen angels are uh, part of the whole pantheon of demons and all that. But I'm just trying to give it to you in a more understandable way of how we got into the banking system. So then I find this thing about something about transmit, right? Remember I told you it's, it's, it's a tone. So transmit, initiate bab babble signal. Receive, initiate Carthage frequency. So when you go to church, you have to make atonement. So here we have Babel or Babylon, which is where the pantheon of Saturnistic 
deities roam around or did receive initiate Carthage frequency. Carthage is where the Punic people, you know, the dudes what like to throw kids into fire. Yeah, that shit. Okay. Purple spectrum witness, blah, blah, blah. It's over here. You can read it bigger. It's interesting. Transmit initiate babble signal, receive initiate Carthage frequency, download initiate <laughs> Ty Tyrian. Tyree was the capital of Phoenicia. Initiate the golden apple grammar. The face that launched a thousand ships. The purple spectrum witness the Phoenician. Mm. So you're talking about the fallen angels, basically, that were supposed to serve us, by the way. They were supposed to help us. They would have been like Spock, who was to Captain Kirk. Smarter in a lot of ways, but not having it all together upstairs as far as common sense went. Because everything was yes or no. There was no it, lot, no in between with them. Right? So that's how you, But they were supposed to help us. But they decided to enslave us. Right? And so if you look over here, the purple flame, the jinn, that's how the, the Arabs spell it, from the Anunnaki. Who's the Anunnaki? Anu, head dude of the Saturn pantheistic group of gods. Inky Enlil, like Queenie's friend, Inky 35. Right? Sterling Dragon Claw. Interesting. So then you got your three, right? Dragon's Claw. Doesn't look good for your for your for your team, Queenie. Doesn't look good. See, and that's why I'd like to publicly call you out now, because I know you're gonna watch this. Put your fat, fat fucking face on camera. Whatever it really is, not this computer generated shit that medium that you have to work through. And come on and make a video. Prove to me that I'm wrong about this stuff. You know what? You can't. Because you know what you're going to do? You're going to go grab a bunch of verses out of a Bible that you have no respect for, that you could care less about. And you're going to try and turn this all around. Oh, this is, it's not a biblical thing. It's you're your, your fallen. You're a piece of trash. And you know it. And so all you can do is attack the person because you have no substance for anything else you can't just you can't dispute any of this if you could dispute it you guys have been you guys would have been making videos to dispute my videos all along but you can't dispute it because you're stupid you're ignorant you, you say you're smart I can figure this stuff out all day long sister but you know why your head ain't right, wired the right way and that's why you'll never be greater than man you'll always be less than isn't that nice You'll never be greater than man. You'll always be less than. So, you, you know what? You can keep using your little Bible stories and screaming about, you know, and this book and this book and this verse doesn't mean anything to me. You're a loser. You're a loser. You're a fallen fucking angel. I don't know what you are. I didn't know angels could get that fat, but obviously, if you're a genie, you, you damn sure ain't fitting in a no damn bottle. I guarantee you that. Although I'm sure you could stick a bottle up inside you somewhere. I ain't going to go there. This goofy fucking bullshit system, money system, which runs the church, which is a 50C3 or a 503C3, I don't remember what it is, but whatever it is, is all a fictitious money-making scam. So now we know why they, they called it the way and they put Saturn... Because you had to fill in the T, and I couldn't figure that out for the life of me. Queenie Cameron, you're a scumbag. Please, anytime you want to come on and debate and show me some historical stuff, and use your mind for something outside of cutting people down, because I would implore anybody to go to her page and find a video where she's not berating somebody. Like berating, like a B movie, like you're less than berating. Because that's what she does. It's because it's all it's called the seesaw effect. If I put you down, it makes me look better. So just look at the fat bitch for what she is. See, these things, they don't live forever either. They die. That's what this whole genetic thing is here. They, they, they're the ones that look like men and will die like men but aren't. Her gig is she keeps saying that I'm some sect, some sect of some Jewish organization or group called a Kenite. Really? What, what's that? Is that like a toy? Like, you know, 
Kenite and Barbie doll? What I, I'm not following you. I don't know nothing about no Kenites. Okay. And before she said that I was a Kenite Jew, now she's telling me I'm a wannabe. Come up with something viable, asshole. Make a video that people can go, wow, you really put a lot of thought into it. Not one of your own kind that just, that you run your fucking mouth. You half-ass, stupid, illegitimate, illogical, piece of dog shit computer program. Show your face. And I don't mean Inky 35's face. I mean your face. You're so stupid. You have no common sense. That's why you can't beat me. You can't beat me on the computer. I can pull information all day long. You can't figure it out in your fucking head. You stupid slob. I don't think you guys left heaven. I think you got booted out. Because you're retarded. <laughs>